Katherine Johnson with another video from Learn. We are all looking for ways to help our children. We want to teach them skills that will help them become more independent. A lot of children with autism struggle with asking for what they want, and this gets in the way of their independence. When a child wants something and doesn't know how to ask for it, they become frustrated. You might see crying, signs of anger, even serious problem behavior. This is why we teach manding. Manding is a word that means letting someone know exactly what it is you want. It includes what we would normally call requesting, asking, demanding, or inquiring. When a child learns to manage, they can communicate what they want instead of getting frustrated. Examples of things that children might manage for are attention, toys, activities, food, drinks, or even information. Manning is a really important step towards independence. So this is the first part of a multi-part series that I'm going to do on manding. Today we'll just talk about what manding is, and in future videos we'll talk about how to do it. So let's begin. There are different ways for children to ask for or mand for things. Many children use sounds or spoken words. Other children use sign language. Some children use pictures to ask for what they want. There are also special programs that can be used on a computer or on a tablet if other ways of communicating aren't successful. So there are many different ways that children can learn to effectively mand in their environment. Let me give you an example of how a child might mand using sounds or spoken words. So when my son was little, salmon was his favorite, and he would say shh when he, was, when he wanted fish. When his language developed a little bit more, he learned to say fish. Now he's 11, he says, can I have some more fish please? Or he just goes and gets it himself. Alternatively, children can man using sign. So actually my son used sign language before he spoke. And so this is how he would originally ask for a fish. It's a cute sign, right? Some children man for an item using a picture exchange system. So they might have like a binder or a board with all sorts of pictures on it, and their man would look like this. They would select the picture of the thing they want, get the attention of the other person, and give the picture to them. Other children might mand using an electronic device. So in this case, they would go to their manding program, select the picture of the thing they want, which has a voice output. So they would click on the fish, and the computer voice would say, fish, please. There are a lot of reasons to teach manding. It helps children to get what they want and need, which is wonderful. It shows the child that communication is useful and valuable and that communicating with other people can help them get their needs met. When a child learns to manage, they also might just start to interact more with people and use more language in general and sometimes their challenging behavior decreases. Let's look at the three parts of the MAND. There's motivation, the MAND, and then the specific reinforcer. So they want it, they say it, they get it. So first, motivation. Your child must be motivated for something. They might show you signs of being motivated by reaching for it or whining. Um, second is the MAND itself. Remember that a MAND can be a sound, a spoken word, a gesture, a sign, a picture or a response on a tablet or a computer. Third, after the mand, the child should receive whatever it is they manded for immediately. We call this the specific reinforcer. When they get what they've asked for immediately, it teaches them that manding is a useful way to get what they want. So for instance, a child might see a favorite toy on a high shelf. So he's looking at it with big eyes, they're reaching for it, that's the motivation. Then they say the name of the, book, the toy. Train, that's the man. Last, the tall person in the room gets them the toy, gives it to them, that's the specific reinforcer. So the child in that example was able to say the full word for what they wanted. Most children are not able to speak that clearly when they first begin. These children can learn to man by using just a sound or two that they are able to make. So for instance, if your child is not able to pronounce 
ball, but can say the sound ba, you can teach them to mand for ball using ba. This is called an approximation, a sound or two that's easier to make than the full word. So let's do the same example as before, but with an approximation. So the child sees the favorite toy on the high shelf, looking at it with big eyes, reaching for it, motivation. Then he says the part of the word train that he's able to say, Ray, that's the man. Then of course the parent gives them the train and that's the specific reinforcer. So sometimes therapists will recommend that a child start with pictures to communicate. So the, pic the child gives the picture of what they want in exchange for the thing that they want. So this is called a picture exchange communication system. So using that same example, here's what that would look like. Child sees the favorite toy on the shelf, starts to reach for it, motivation, grabs a binder that has the picture of all the favorite toys, finds the picture of the train, takes it off, gives it to his mom or dad, that's the man. And then of course, mom or dad gets the train, that's the reinforcer. Of course, people communicate in a lot of different ways. Mans are just one way. People may label things around them. They may tell a story, laugh, cry. These are all examples of communication, but communication that doesn't specify what they want or need, so they're not mans. Let's talk about what happens when a person's not able to mand. So when an infant is hungry, they will cry to communicate that they're hungry. In the same way, before children are able to mand with sounds or words or pictures, they may use challenging behavior to get what they want. This challenging behavior might be crying, yelling, screaming. Teaching mans helps replace those behaviors with appropriate mans. For instance, one of my clients, um, one of my very first clients who did not know how to mand at all, when he wanted something, he would just sob. And his family would just kind of like frantically figure out, you know, what it was that he wanted while he's like thrown himself on the floor and was, you know, crying his little heart out. Once we had spent some time teaching him how to use a picture exchange system, he was so happy to be able to ask for what he wanted. He was not only able to ask for books or for songs, which are two of his favorite things, but we made different pictures for all of his favorite books and all of his favorite songs. So he could specify exactly which book or exactly which song he wanted. And I have to say, it's really incredible to watch the transformation of a child who's learning to get exactly what he wants from the world. So this has been a little introduction to Manding. In the follow-up videos, we will talk about how to teach mans and how to troubleshoot. I hope you join me.